Okay, now when Apple launches something new on iOS, for better or worse, the whole industry tries to follow it. And that is what seems to be happening with Samsung again. With One UI 8.5, we can see some glimpses of glass elements on the UI. Tarun Watts on X has shared some important information here. He says Samsung has added the glass mask effect to the contacts icon in the latest One UI 8.5 build. And you can see this image. It looks like a 3D icon with some glass effect right at the center. And this may be the beginning of glass effects on One UI 8.5. Now, if you ask me, I don't prefer to see the iOS's glass effects on One UI. Though for a lot of people, this liquid glass effect on iOS 26 is appealing, I really don't wish to see that similar effect on the One UI. The frosted glass effect is still fine, but not the liquid glass effect. Don't get me wrong here. It is just the perception that whatever Apple does is the best in the industry. That is why a lot of people follow it and people just tend to start liking it. But that is not the reality. It is not that whatever Apple does is the best. It is just your perception. Now, it would be great to see Samsung coming up with their own glass effect maybe and not copy the iOS 26. There was a concept shared by that Josh guy 69 on X. You can see these glass effects on the icons and widgets and on the weather application though it looks very nice you can see that it resembles iOS 26 but with some frosted glass effect there personally I would rather prefer to see the colored 3d effect instead of these glass effects I mean this is subjective it is just me you guys let me know what do you think do you think Samsung should go ahead and copy the liquid glass design and adopt these kind of designs on the one UI 8.5 drop a comment and let me know in another tweet shared by Tarun Watts you can see the outlines on these toggles, which makes it look a little mediocre, I would say. Probably they should make it a little more appealing. It still looks dull. The toggles don't really pop up from the background. It just blends with the background, making it look pretty basic. In my opinion, I think Samsung should work on this and make it look better. Let me know what do you think about this. The phone app UI element looks a little better. We've got the frosted glass effect here, which pops out from the background, clearly separated from the background colors through blur effect, which look amazing. Amazing. Next, the priority notifications. Yes, that is a brand new feature which will be coming up on the One UI 8.5. CID and a few other X users have shared the first look of the priority notifications. You can see the notification is sitting on top under the priority notification header and it has got this glowing effect. That is something new and it is going to be very useful as well. And there are many One UI 8.5 lock screen images or screenshots shared by many users on X and they all look beautiful. But is it going to be the best? I don't think so because the Color OS and Oxygen OS 16 have got some amazing amazing lock screen effects, some amazing lock screen wallpapers. I think Samsung should consider doing something like that. Of course, don't just copy it, come up with something new, something different. It will be very, very appealing to the Galaxy users. Here, Sithik on X has shared some screenshots of how the files application would look. You can see how the folders look inside the My Files application and how the files would look and manage storage page as well. And here is Bash on X has shared a new design for the One UI 8.5 icons. This is a concept and this is what I'm talking about. This has got the colored glass effect on the icons and this is gonna look just beautiful on One UI 8.5. I hope Samsung looks into this and does something similar similar to this. You let me know your thoughts about this. And check out the predictive back gesture, which has been made as a default feature now on One UI 8.5, shared by Citic on X. You can see the back gesture is available on the Samsung's native camera application as well. This is just incredible to see. It does not add any functionality, but it does look amazing. It looks smooth and it's really pleasing to use. And I would like to see this predictive back gesture on all the Samsung Galaxy stock applications and even the third party applications if they can implement implemented nothing like it. Now here is something more interesting for the One UI 8.0 users. Zomato, a popular food delivery app here in India, is now showing the live notifications in the live notification panel as well as the now bar on the One UI 8.0. A Reddit user has shared the screenshot where you can see the now bar shows the time information, when exactly is your order going to arrive and when you tap on that now bar, you can see the expanded window here. It says preparing your order and it shows the distance progress bar as well which is amazing. Now this is showing up on Zomato. If I'm not wrong, many other applications will also start showing these live notifications on the now bar as well as now live notification panel. If you are in any other country, do try these kind of applications on One UI 8.0 and see if you get this information on now bar and do let the viewers know on the channel whether you're getting this kind of notification or not in the comment section. Now let's take a look at another incredible feature which we are gonna see on Android 17 
probably on one UI 9.0. This is a big always on display upgrade. Google is bringing a brand new feature called min mode. Using this, we can see a full screen view of a specific application on the always on display. Now, apparently Google is working on Google Maps. As you can see on this image shared by Android Authority, the live map notification is right there on your always on display. And if I'm not wrong, when we move, it will show the progress right there on the always on display itself in the full map view in black and white. Now this will conserve a lot of battery. The screen doesn't need to be on when you are using Google Maps and yet you get to see the route. And it seems that the pixels will keep shifting on the always on display to avoid the screen burning issue. Now this is a very interesting feature. I'm really excited about this. These are the kind of innovation we need in the coming days to conserve battery and Google seems to be doing it. Let's wait for this feature. I will keep you guys posted. If it starts working in any way, I will try it out and let you know guys how it works. So if you want to know these kind of information, you need to subscribe to the channel and stay updated so go ahead hit the subscribe button give this video a like if you find this video informative and do not forget to download our wallpaper application wallverse there is a 50 percent discount on the premium membership this is the right time for you to go premium so go ahead and check it out that's all i have here in this video thanks a lot for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye